Hey there everyone, I'm Palkyfanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we went through Heisenberg Castle, and yes, I did that on purpose this time. <laughs> Wasn't really a... good run of the dungeon, but we got to the end nonetheless. And today... we are gonna take on Leiden. We're gonna get back the Eye of Autonomy, and we are gonna save the world. So it's time for the final battle. Let's go. Okay, I was kidding. He was not in that room. Or in that one. <laughs> there he is. Thank god, he's making me look like an idiot. Leiden! I want to congratulate you for following me here. I'm amused that you made it here. And I love how this looks. It looks so cool. Unfortunately. It doesn't matter anymore since your luck and your pitiful lives ends here. You won't get rid of us without a fight. You'll pay for what you did to my father. Oh, spare me. Do you really think you have a chance against me? We're not going to allow you to continue with your ruthless acts. You should have remained petrified. Now you come all this way to be killed. Well, there shall be no mercy today. Witness the power of the Eye of Autonomy. Prepare to die. Well, that was quick and effective. He got to say what all he wanted, so <laughs> that's nice. So, of course, this is Leiden, and oh my god, he looks like an animal. I did not remember him looking that hideous. We'll see, a, get a little closer look. Look at that! Holy sh... He looks like a bear lion thing. That's disturbing. <laughs> anyway, so of course he got helpers, so let's start by spamming our spells on them, pretty much. Uh, no, I think Ray is gonna be the way to go. And Leon, Stonewall, yeah, why not? Of course he got some bishops with him, which will cast spells, but really it's not a big deal, and he will of course also cast spells, because... He got Gar's Sordian on him. Yes, he got Ignatos with him. Which is why he can cast spells. And wow, this is not good. He he actually stopped all my spell casting. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting the bishop just stay there. <laughs> but really, all in all, this battle isn't that bad. Just continue to wail on him. That's really everything I can the only hint I can tell, I can give you. Let's see, sharpness on me. And let's see, Ray again. And Leon, I would like if you could come here and help me with your Dragon Blade. Go. Don't think Air Slash is gonna help that, that well against him, to be quite honest. Ow! <laughs> Hit us both. We both fell. There we go. One. Rudy, don't... You're, you're just like your Cure Radiant Mythology version. You just run up to the enemy even though you're supposed to be the healer. It's annoying. Just ignore all the healing and the spells. Just, no, I'm gonna attack you in front. I'm gonna waste all my TP in your face. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> <sighs> oh well. We should be fine though. Shouldn't be much of a problem. But seriously? Who would have thought that the final battle of the game is against a grizzly bear man thing? I wouldn't, that's for sure. Oh, thank you, Leon. I was actually just about to tell you just to use Dragon Blade, so <laughs> that worked nicely. Of course, if you level up a bit more... I, I just found out, though, that I am pretty damn underleveled, but... I've been doing pretty well up till now, I'll say, so... I don't really think I need it. <laughs> but if you level up more than I have, then... This battle is a cinch. It is so easy. It is insane. And the stone wall is on fire. <laughs> Let's see. Ray. Wow, Rudy barely used any TP. And Ray. So nice that we actually got him in this, in this Street Fighter corner, even. I mean, this must be just the first form. I mean, to be a the final battle of the game. This is surprisingly easy. I mean, even Dowels' first form was harder than this. And that says a lot. I mean, oh, what the heck am I doing? 
Order, no, I'm gonna use items. Uh, Leon, can you use a orange shell on me just so I can continue spamming my- Oh crap, oh! Yeah, okay, that's the only move that he got that is actually quite deadly. As you see, okay, if I actually die now because of that, shit will go down, yo. Ow, oh, come on. Stop that! Sheesh. Uh, Rudy, use a life bottle on Philia. Wow. One move did all the difference. What the? Oh, no, no, no. You bastard. Stop that. <laughs> That's not cool, dude. Not cool at all. Thank God I got Miracle Jump. And I'm stunned, of course. No! Jeez. I don't want another Daos repeat here, okay? That was... That was no, no. Bad light, bad light. Uh, life bottle. Ow, don't stun me. What the hell, dude? Uh, Rudy, life bottle, Philia, go. I was stabbed in the air. What the heck? You are not this hard. <laughs> Rudy, life bottle. How many life bottles have I used? Go, go, go. Yatta! And Leon is. Yes! Oh, barely! <laughs> Leon actually barely just got that experience. New skill, new spell, level up, level up. Like that matters. Okay, are we ready for the final the final part of the battle? Can't be the final battle without second forms, now can it? Why? I think I'm beginning to really enjoy this. But your insignificant life, life force, means nothing before the eye of Atomini's real power. See with don't see with your own eyes. This is the true power of the Eye of Atomini. I think we should run. Just like Daos. I'm losing control. Not like Daos. Impossible. What is happening to me? How ironic. He was incapable of controlling the source of supreme power, and it destroyed him. Really? So, no second boss battle? Or second form? Wow, he's a bad final boss. Really bad. I'll take Ignatos back now. Ah, oh, thank god. We finally did it! It's too early to celebrate. What? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Oh no, it's overloading! Uh huh. It's gonna explode at this rate! Uh... Explode? What? Are you kidding? Young master, there's no other way! Ah, damn it. There's no other choice. Quickly, everyone, install this disc in your Sordians. It will give them Windows 8. No! I'd rather die! <laughs> what? Hurry up! What good is this going to do? Split it up in four directions and raise your swordians. Uh Okay. Oh, well, that was easy enough. Is everyone alright? Well that worked nicely. <laughs> nice one, Leon! Is everyone alright? Hey, what did you just do? It's a secret weapon from the Oberon Corporation. Now we must take the Eye of Tarmony to his majesty. And after that, you'll be free. Fine, that sounds good to me. Now, wait a minute. Gar? Uh, Gar? You've all seen the Eye of Autonomy's power. This shouldn't be entrusted to any mortal being. We should destroy it, right here, right now. Please wait! If we do that, we won't get our reward! If you don't want to do it, I'll do it myself. Stop it! It's useless! Here we go, Ignatos. What? What happened? I told you, the Saurians won't help you destroy the Eye of Domini. Besides, that little Saurian won't even be able to scratch it. This is insane. You should trust the King of Senegal. The Eye of Domini will kept under Senegal's protection, and it will never fall into the wrong, into the wrong hands. 
Alright, but I'll accompany you to Senegal. I want to personally make sure the King of Senegal is a man worthy of my trust. Fair enough. Great, now that settles it. Let's take Leiden's Draconis and let's go back to Darishil. Well, we actually gonna take Draconis? Really? Okay, that is badass on so many levels. <laughs> Stat, are you there? Philia, uh, why? Hello there. <laughs> What's going on? Do you need help? Have you seen Rudy? Uh, Rudy? Uh, no, I can't say I have. Isn't she in a room? No, I thought she might be here. But why? She seems depressed ever since Mary left. Well, can't really blame her off that one though. I mean, Mary was her partner, her friend, and, well, she left the moment she got her memory back. I mean, she wouldn't do that if Dallas didn't pop up and all that, but it's understandable, I think. And I thought, and I thought I might help her feel better if I cheered her up. Philia, you're so kind. Oh no, um, uh, please don't mention anything to Rudy about this. Sure. <laughs> At any rate, let's try to find her. Okay. So now we get to run around in the Draconis. Very, very cool. And even though this is not the same Draconis that we were on in the beginning of the game, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, they got lazy with this. Just you wait. Not only are the rooms exactly the same, but the lighting is the same too, as you'll see in a little while when we go, well, downstairs. They got incredibly lazy. <laughs> Ow. Leon? The heck? Are you alright? Silence, just leave me alone. What happened to you? I feel sick. Sick? Airsick? From flying? <laughs> yeah, just leave me alone. I can't leave you alone. I, I thought we were friends. Friends? Ugh, I don't have any friends. Hey, whatever, hang on a bit. I'll bring you something cool to drink. Cool to drink. Are you deaf? Go away, you meddling twit. Leon. You're always like this. I can't put up with you anymore. Let me tell you something. People will deceive you, no matter how much you trust them. What's your point? Can't you see? I don't trust anyone. So, leave me alone. <sighs> your message is loud and clear. Anyway, get some rest. You should feel better in a while. <laughs> <sighs> I sure hope so. So, Leon is actually getting airsick by flying on a Draconis. That is hilarious. <laughs> anyway, so, you, of course, we should try to find Rudy and all, but before we do that, let's go down to the uh, the storage room where, you know, where uh, the game started, where Stan actually, they, they found Stan and while the room is actually just as dark as the, the one in the first Raconis. This is lazy. <laughs> as you see, it's basically the same room. But that's not the reason why we went down here. We want to go back to where we found Dimlos. And it's just as dark as that room too. It's just so lazy. And as you see, we have a treasure chest here. With a deck brush in it. <laughs> yes, a deck brush. It is of course a joke weapon. As you see, it got one attack, five defense, ten hit and twenty evade. Yeah, it's a little joke on the fact that Stan was uh, cleaning the floor in the beginning of the game. <laughs> they actually do joke around with that in the later games that Stan's in, like the Radiant Mythology games. And I don't really know why I've been talking so much about them. They're good, but they're not that good. <laughs> anyway, so since we got the deck brush, how about we go up to the main deck and clean some more? Nah, I'm kidding, Rudy's here. <laughs> Rudy! Hey Stan, what do you want? Thanks for telling us that you left your room. We were worried. Come on now, am I on a leash or something? I can be anywhere I want. If you don't me, 
If you don't need me, please leave me alone. You're being pretty harsh. I was looking all over the place for you. What's with, what's with your attitude? You almost sa start sounding a bit like Leon, and that's really not a good thing. You're so damn selfish. Selfish? Shellfish? No. Yeah, don't try to deny it. How about the time we first met? Or the time we faced Batista? You've always been totally selfish. Well, maybe. Wow, we actually got rude to think. That's... That's the first. <laughs> you might be right. Sorry. Wow, Rudy said sorry. This is not Rudy, this is an imposter. I am sure of it. Huh? What's that funny look on your face? Uh, well, I didn't expect you to apologize like that. <laughs> do, we, do you think it? Do you think it's strange that I apologize? Well, uh, no, but uh, it's all right. By the way, what do you want? I was just looking for you because, well, you were missing for a while. Stop right there. Are you being a bit too neurotic? You seem depressed ever since Mary left. Philia was very concerned. Philia? Uh, oops, well, um, <laughs> I was supposed to say that, were I? Was I? <laughs> I don't think I'm depressed, but... But I'd be lying to you if I told you that I don't miss her. Well, I can't really blame her at all. Hey, Stan, you're going home when this journey ends, aren't you? What? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Stan, will you listen to me? What? I want to tell you why I became a lens hunter. <laughs> you wanted money, right? Um, that's part of the reason, yeah. <laughs> there are some people I want to protect. They raised me. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. I owe them, I owe them my life. But they're in trouble now, and I need money to save them. You must despise me for being so greedy. Oh, no. Uh, it's alright. I know. But I wanted you to know the truth, that's all. But what made you tell me this all of a sudden? I don't know. I thought maybe I might not be able to see you again after this. And I kind of felt... And I felt... <sighs> Rudy? I felt so relieved! <laughs> uh, Rudy? Oh, I sound way too serious. Uh, I only need to put up with being greedy a little bit longer. Besides, I'm not doing anything wrong. A lot of the things happen. A lot of things happen, but I'm grateful to everyone now. Of course, I'm grateful for you, to you too, Stan. Hey, uh, Rudy. What? After this journey, um, if you want to, um, you know, what? Well, so maybe we can spend a bit more time. Rudy! Ah, oh, Philia, timing. Watch it. You almost got a worse timing than me, and that's pretty damn hard. Hey, Philia. Oh, you were here. I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. By the way, thank you very much, Philia. You were worried about me, weren't you? Uh, what? Stan, you told her? Well, I, uh, no, but... <laughs> and this is why we have to be careful around country boys. They have big mouths. We do not! <laughs> hey, that's not... Hey, that got nothing to do with it. We're not too far from Senegal now, Philia. Shall we prepare for landing? Yes, let's go. Uh, this is a nice ending. Excuse me, but... Uh... Okay, fine. <laughs> Be that way. <laughs>